today we will discuss about types of operators okay are you able to see the screen yes sir yes yes sir first of all what are the different types of operators available in mysql arithmetic operators bitwise operators comparison operators and between not between equal not equal okay and in not in is not null is null like not like union union all okay so in these operators we have discussed some of the operators in uh, previous session okay so first of all arithmetic operators arithmetic operation addition subtraction multiplication and division and modulo so here set at the rate a equal to 10 so this is like a variable declaration so i have taken two variables without data type okay so now i am going to do this addition a plus b so 15 so this is the addition operator so minus subtraction multiplication so next one is so here this is division that means it will store coefficient of the expression okay and if you use module symbol then see the result zero that means this module will performs the division and it will store the remainder of the expression okay this is the difference between division and module so here this symbol will give the coefficient and this one will give the remainder and bitwise operator so for this bitwise operator you need to know about this 8421 code like suppose uh, i mean decimal to in your academic career you will uh, you have studied about this decimal to binary anyone having knowledge on this decimal how to convert decimal to binary 8421 code so 0 ones 1 0 1 so this will call it as 10 10 Yes. And uh, five means one. four, four one zero one zero one. For example, I want sixteen. Then here, observe this multiple of two is there. One, two. One into two, two. Two into two, four. Four into two, eight. Here, sixteen. Again, thirty-two. Thirty-two. Again, sixty-four. Like that. Then, whatever you want the number, you just uh, set the combination with one and zero. Then you will get that particular number. For example, I want to have thirty-eight. Uh, Then, zero. Here, one. Zero, zero, one, one, and zero. So this will give the thirty-eight. Like that. Okay. Here, this one is ten. 
and this one is five. Okay, so I am giving and operation between these two. It is zero. What is the magic of and operation? If both in bitwise operators, okay, so bitwise will do the will evaluate the expression bitwise. That means one zero. If you perform the and operation between these two bits, then it will give zero. So this is first input. This is second input. And operation means if both inputs are one, then only output becomes one. Otherwise, it will give zero. Okay. For example, if you give one. Zero, zero, zero. What will be this value? Sixty-four. Sixty-four. Oh, sorry, sir. Yeah, now, what will be this value? Eight. Eight. Okay. If you perform. And operation between 10 and 8. See the result. 8. Why? Because here 1 and 1. Output becomes 1. 0, 0, 0. 1, 1, 0. 0, 0. 0, 0. 0, 0, 0. Here 0. So output is 8. Okay. And so that is and operation. And coming to R operation, this R operation. So what will be the logic of R operation? If any Zero. one of the input is one, then output is one. That is the R operator. One zero one zero one 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 zero one zero one one. So count this: eight four twelve twelve two uh, fourteen one. Okay, total fifteen. Next, exclusive R operation. So, exclusive R operation means if even number of ones is zero, ones becomes then output becomes zero. Otherwise, one. Okay, here one zero. So, what will be the output? One. So here only one one is there. Single one is there. So output becomes one. Single one. 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 Okay. Uh, that's why you get fifteen. You can test for one more number like twelve. Twelve six. So here I am taking twelve. So twelve means zero. Here one one. Okay, this is the twelve. Now, so logic is if even number of ones are there, output is zero. zero. Here one one. So zero 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 one zero, one. 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 And one, one zero, zero. Oh yeah, one sir. One. And here zero. Zero. Six. So six. So we get six. Yes. So this is bitwise operators. And comparison operators equal, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, not equal. To. Okay. So this thing we have discussed. In previous session, and uh, 
course, if you want to get the employee details based on uh, salary. Those. Then, so greater than or equal to. So here you are getting the employee details based on salary 3000. Suppose I want to get the employee details which are having salary more than 3000 and equal to 3000. Then you, you go for greater than or equal to. Okay. So I want to get the employee details whose salary is less than 3000. So you will not get 3000. You put equal, you will get less than 3000, below 3000 employee details along with 3000 details. Okay. Not equal. So not equal means, see this, except 3000, you will get all the employee details. You can use this symbol also. Okay. And between. Between means suppose I want to get the employee details where salary between 3000 and 5000. So boundaries. So this is lowest boundary, this one is highest boundary. So you can get salary de employee details whose salary between 3000 and 5000. So I don't want to get the employee details whose salary lies between 3000 and 5000. So in that case, you can use not between. In, in means I want to get the employee details whose salary has 3000 and 5000 and 2000. Then you can use in operators. Okay. So here 3000, 5000 is that. Are you able to see the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So 2000 is not there. That's why you are not getting 2000 employee salary details. OK. And like operator. Like operator means it is used to match the string with the specified letter Okay, so just like up, like so, I want to get the employee details whose salary, whose job that starts with letter A, then I will go like this. A, analyst. Okay. So I don't want to employ details whose job starts with A letter, then not like. So here, analyst, you are not getting. Okay. And union all. Union on the union all means it combines two or more result sets of multiple queries into a single result set. So this one is very, very important. Okay. For your understanding purpose, 
I am creating some dummy table. Create table EMP30 as select start from EMP30. So select start from EMP where DEPT number equal to 30. That means if you execute this query, then you will get department number 30 details. Okay. So this query, what what this query done means this employee details, these six records will be moved to EMP 30. Okay, EMP 30 is not available in our database. Okay, so that first it will create EMP 30 table and then it will move all the records to the EMP 30 table. Okay, see this. Select start from EMP 30. So similarly, you can create another table for EMP20. Okay. And here I am taking employee number E name and salary. In this case, suppose you want to join these two result set and you want to produce into a single result set, then it is better to go for union or union all. Okay. So first I am going to join this result set. I am not going to join the columns. Just I am going to combine the result set. It is better to use combine word instead of join. Okay, I am going to combine the results set or data set. See this. Okay, so union all or union it will combine the result set. Okay, then what will be the difference between these two? So here, DAPT number. I am taking DAPT number in first table and DAPT number in second table. Okay, see this 30 is coming for six times and 20 is coming for five times. Okay, and I am going to use union all, not union all, union. Now observe the result set. There are two data sets. One is first data set belongs to union all. Second data set belongs to union. Okay. If you observe this in second data set, you are getting only two records. In first data set, you are getting 12 records. Why means? So union all will not eliminate the duplicates. Union will eliminate the duplicates okay so that is the difference between union all and union and one more thing is here you need to follow some rules and regulations while using union all or union operator first rule is the number and address of the column that must be same Okay. Here, suppose in first in first table, you are taking only two columns. In second table, you are taking three columns. Okay. Execute. See this. You will get error. Different number of columns. So it will not allow. The number of columns must be same. 
and order also must be same okay so here employee number if you give in first then in second table also that employee number has to be in first position like employee name and employee name salary and salary also okay and second rule is the data types of columns must be the same or compatible suppose this employee number is string then this employee number is integer okay string means worker suppose this employee number data type is worker and this employee number data type is integer then it should not be there it should not be like that okay are compatible compatible means uh, you can convert that worker into string by using cast operations cast convert operations okay by using convert operators you can be able to convert that uh, into uh, worker to integer but that worker must contain numbers only then only you can able to convert worker to integer okay that means suppose if we create one column with the worker of 50 okay so if that worker of 50 contains numbers then you can able to convert that worker into integer by using convert functions otherwise you can convert okay so that is the rules and regulation first rule is the number of columns must be same and second one is the data types must be same or compatible okay so this is about union and union operator okay. we first go through this all operators and then we will discuss uh, functions in next session okay okay sir